Because we're now going to deal with an economy that's not at the level of full employment. So if you look at your, your diagram, what we're saying is, let's assume this is the level of full employment. And we're going to make 6,900. So that's your level of full employment. As you can see, this economy is at a lower level of output and income. In other words, there's quite a number, large unemployment in this model. And the question is now is how do you get the economy from this level of output to the level of full employment? And that's what we're going to deal with now. Now, before we give you the answer, let's look at your model. Now, it says that the demand for goods determines the level of output. Now, it's, it's the demand for goods that determines the level of output. That's why it's a Keynesian model. We also said that demand for goods consists of consumption spending plus investment spending plus government spending. So, to increase the level of output, you need an increase in the demand, which means you need an increase in consumption, investment, government spending. All of them or just one of them. Now, the other principle here is that there's an equilibrium position in the economy where the demand for goods equals the level of output. And this is this point here. The importance of this equilibrium position, it's a position of rest. There's no forces here that's automatically going to move the economy to full employment. Something needs to change now to make you go from this level of output to full employment. And the question will be, what is those forces? Now, if you look at your equilibrium equation, you say equilibrium income equals the multiplier times autonomous consumption. So these are the two things that determines your output is your multiplier and your autonomous spending. Let's look at your multiplier, the value there. The, now the multiplier is equal to 1 over 1 minus C. Now from the diagram, there's your marginal propensity to consume is equal to 1 over 1 minus 0 0.8 equals 5. So we have a multiplier of 5, meaning that for a 1 rand change in autonomous spending, you get a 5 rand change in output. So, but let's look at your autonomous spending consists of autonomous consumption plus investment plus government spending minus marginal propensity to consume taxes. Giving these values, putting values in here, it's 400 plus 600 plus 500 minus 0 0.8 400. And that gives you a value of 1,180, which is your vertical intercept. So your equilibrium income is 5 times 1,180 equals 5,900. So you can see, if I increase the value of the multiplier or autonomous spending, I'm going to increase the level of output. Let's look at your autonomous spending. What must happen here? And by how much? So if you look at your output gap or income gap, that means the level, it's the level of full employment minus equilibrium income equals 6,900 minus 5,900 equals 1,000. So this is a gap that you must fill. Now, by how much should autonomous spending increase? Well, that is 1,000 divided by 5, because for every 1 rand increase, you get a 5 rand increase in output. So that is equal to 200. So your autonomous spending must increase with 200. In other words, it shifts upwards, 200, and then it brings about this change of a thousand, which in this case is your output gap. What needs to happen to the multiplier? Well, the multiplier must increase. If you have an increase in the multiplier, which means your marginal propensity to consume is bigger, households now consume a larger proportion of an increase in income than before, and this will cause a shift of your demand for goods curve because it, it's the marginal propensity that determines the slope. In terms of this example, your small c should be something like 0 0.82, giving you a multiplier of 5.8. So this is quite important how the household's behavior can have a major impact on the economy. That is why 
we spend a lot of time to try to figure out what is this marginal propensity, how high is it, how low is it. And then, so if we can conclude now, is to say there's two things that needs to happen to move to full employment. There's either to be a change in the multiplier, it has to increase, or there has to be an increase in the autonomous spending.